So coming to one issue after the uh, after the previous talk, uh, I need not go much into detail, but looking into the uh, data in a different way, uh, maybe from a sort of medical oncologist perspective, any adjuvant treatment we know that has to improve survival. We need our patients to live longer when we are giving any sort of adjuvant treatment. Um, we can't tell that it is due to the, uh, we never could uh, demonstrate overall survival benefit because they are elderly and they were dying due to other reasons. But is it really so or is it because of some other reason? So when you look at the real evidence for adjuvant RT, which we all think is sort of standard and we have robust evidence, um, we will see that if you look at the low risk, uh, one of the uh, nice slides which has just been from the ASTRO, this says that 2014 choosing wisely list, the first thing in the list is don't recommend radiation following hysterectomy for low risk. So that's very clear. We should not give radiation even for low risk because there is no evidence. Now coming to the other subsets where we think it's sort of standard, if you look at the Cochrane meta-analysis which was updated in 2009 by Con, 2012 by Con et al., you can see that uh, there has been very, across the trial group, we have could not demonstrate an overall survival uh, benefit. Now, there has been a local regional control benefit throughout. Now, what does that show? One way of looking at it would be, is it because the, some of the local recurrences are being salvaged and then we are able to get a, um, we are not able to demonstrate an overall survival advantage and that is where we might have to look at other uh, way of dealing these patients, whether to add chemotherapy. So if you, even if you look at the subset analysis or different risk group, you see that even in the intermediate risk, there could not, there is absolutely no improvement in the overall survival. Even when you look at the high risk, which we supposedly should do, definitely we should have demonstrated some survival benefit. Again, there is no survival benefit. So what we have learned from this meta-analysis, there is usual criticism of the meta-analysis, very heterogeneous, only published data, the high risk group was very less and the trials were really heterogeneous and the radiotherapy was uh, older techniques. But what we can find out from the data available is we can reduce the local recurrence of our patients with adjuvant radiation but may not be able to improve survival. Is that enough?